Yo, 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 what up, chat room? What up, all my lovely people out there? It's your boy, Ty Vega, with the lovely, 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 go ahead, oh. who you is? Drago. Uh-oh, uh-oh, y'all got a treat today. Y'all got a treat. That sure so... is going to be a treat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I'm the treat, but oh, uh, you're 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 definitely a treat, dog. Oh, that, that, that's that's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the other treat that we have for everyone today um, will be this uh, match in the MMX league between Wallace Prime and Ultra Uberness. Yep, yep. I believe. Uh... The number one hottest person in the MMX community versus the number 16 hottest person in the MMX community. Yeah, we'll 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 leave it up to everyone to figure out who is who. We're not we're not Oh to, Ultra to, with the late start. <laughs> oh That's okay. But uh, yeah. I might just be evening out the, the stream a little bit. Yeah, you're right. We have to sink out at the start. And uh, with that, we get going. Like, this should be fun to watch these two go at it. Yeah, yeah, especially in the beginning where we're just holding right and just mashing our thumbs out. The the real winner in this is whoever didn't clip their thumbnails can mash the quickest. Yeah, that's actually true. People do apply a double mash technique, and I guess that, that one millimeter might just help you uh, painfully crush that button a little bit faster than the other guy. <laughs> Both of them getting uh, passive bees actually, it's taking a lot of damage. Gotta pray that they don't get more. Walrus yeah. gets a little HP. And Walrus with a good yeah. bee. Oh, oh, well. Ultra, no! Ultra, okay, go. Ultra, Ultra! Oh, Ultra, oh. don't you get. Okay! <laughs> oh, his iframes lasted just long enough to have him survive that last run. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, you know, Ultra meant to do that is just for ego manipulation, no dives. It's totally under understandable, man. Uh, I mean, yeah, he has to play fair too. Golly, if all was a little head start here, yeah. I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. And uh, I do believe Ultra has only 4 HP, so he will probably not be doing task cards like Walrus. Well, you just lied. He just picked up a, a oh, health oh. pack, and now he got like 6 grains of rice instead oh. of 4. Okay, then he can do task cards as you yep, want. Yep. There we go. Alright. Nice task car. Yeah, it seemed uh, really late for him to pick up HP still, but I guess he can still get out of the car. Eh, Walrus getting a bit of a bad ship there. And uh, not doing uh, this uh, new strat with the uh, one blast on the car that he's been playing recently. So a little bit of a dangerous strat to do at the end, mm -hmm. but you can like one shot the last car coming down. 201 and, uh, grab for Walrus, that wasn't that bad. Yeah. Oh, Ultra with the uh, Mars Vial. <laughs> Many names for that one. Mm -hmm. The outer spell is gone to dinner. <laughs> My people need me, file. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I have Whatever to go. You My call people it. need me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good from both. Not much of a big difference yet. Yeah, we'll see how it continues. We have the extension of the intro right here. Um, I call this the extension of the intro mostly because we do not have the dash boots yet. Mm -hmm, this is the mm -hmm. penguin. So it's still a little bit on the slow side here. Um, there's a little bit of special tech in here for movement. Yeah, you got People a couple of slope the... jumps and yep. everything. You can actually see it like when they are walking down the slope, they jump at the end because you get a little bit of extra speed and height for jumps. Mm -hmm. well, general walking speed height is only for the jumps, obviously. Gets applied quite a bit. You can see a lot of doing turnaround uh, slope jumps as well. Yep. That gets used a lot in this little climb and that actually makes it a lot harder than it looks because those slope jumps make you turn around for only a fraction of a second. And it's really easy to miss them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, coming up to the dash boots, getting them. Now we're going to move a little bit faster. Yeah, faster is definitely what we want here. We're uh, these days looking at the solid like... Mm, 
35 to 37 times in MMX, like a lot, lots better. Actually, yeah. in 34s, in the in the very extreme. The very. <laughs> uh. At least an hundred percent, and uh, right, right. percent we go a bit lower. We're still uh, dreaming of the legendary thirty over there. Nice no stop hallway from Walrus right there. Four fourteen first door, not bad, not bad. I mean, you don't expect anything less from the, the champ. You know what I'm saying? He's the best, the best, <laughs> the best in the world. Uh, uh, at least that's what he <laughs> says. <laughs> Uh, Ultra with one bonk, but you know, that's still pretty good, you know, with the RNG from all these penguins, these birds, anything can happen. Yeah, penguins mostly. Oh! Um, what penguin <laughs> wants, and then. Penguin said, chill out, son! Oh. Ultra, chill out, dog! <laughs> yeah. A bit of an unfortunate start for Ultra there. But uh, he'll make it. Actually, he needs to be. Oh, oh my god, I was gonna say dang. he needs to be careful. And then he, well, decided to have a little head bump with Penguin. And Penguin, actually, when you, you hit him, uh, get a, hit him in the body, that really, really hurts. Yeah, I think it's, it's either five or six damage. I'm not 100% sure now. I think it might even be six. I think it's five. Is it really that much? I thought it was like four or something. But... No. It's more than four. It, it's definitely five or six, but I'm not exactly sure. It's either one or two. Which means uh, body bonking into Penguin is absolutely terrible. Walrus coming up with the uh, Kuanger climb. Hopefully we'll get a, a first try ice list maybe. We'll see. Hoping to get a nice list, you know, or a not nice list. I mean, if you go and get it first try, you can always get it first try on the second attempt, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right, dog. It's all about how you look at it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ultra actually... Uh, he actually got a decent penguin. fight on the second fight with the Penguin right there. Yeah. Not that many fights, yeah. Boomer Quanger with the pointing to the sky, telling that he's going to throw these guys up into the ceiling. Can't wait. Oh. Is that what the animation is for? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's not dancing. He's pointing to the doom. He's uh, going to uh, lift them up and throw them against the wall. Uh, you you, you, you want to see my ceiling? I'm about to give you a real close <laughs> look at it. <laughs> exactly, dog. <laughs> Never thought of it that way. Good to know. Hey, yeah, first try, first try. for Walrus. It's a pretty precise jump we got over there. You're going to need to do a 7 pixel wall kick to uh, get up there and also be at the right height and everything. Takes mm -hmm. quite a bit of practice to get that one, right? Meanwhile, I mean, uh, I, I guess you gotta practice or, you know, well, you just go for it. <laughs> that's kind of how it goes with much stuff in this game. <laughs> it? It's no longer just hold right. You know, it's also littered with silly tricks. Mm -hmm. Frame perfect things. Uh, Walrus getting a nice dance in there. Quang are staying yeah. in it pretty long. Makes out eventually. But still nice teleports good. too, yeah. yeah. Let's see how I Ultra guess Walrus does. wasn't interested in the ceiling at all. Didn't take it at all. Ooh, he tried to go for a double kick strat right there. Nice. Triceless. Three times. First try, third attempt. Not bad. Yep, yep. First try, third attempt. You're right. Uh, he did request that uh, we wa he wanted us to make him look good, so we can at least try, right? Yeah, you're right. You're uh, right. I mean, that was definitely first try. <laughs> <laughs> well, I earned our money somehow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Walrus is actually going into Eagle here. That's um, nice to see. He will not be doing uh, the good old Chameleon turd then. Right. I hear that he's playing it safe. And we got takeoff. And uh, here you see the legendary phantom grab in action where you can uh, magically make it's other awesome. items appear in your boomerang and then just under various circumstances with the correct items just fly away and ignore any kind of standard gameplay that you would usually enjoy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you were not a cheater. <laughs> uh, I mean speedrunner. Oh uh, yeah. Taking his magic carpet on a whole new world to Dr. Light, gain that headpiece. 
Yeah. Meanwhile, Ultra has uh, had his own dance with Coangard done, and we'll also be going to Eagle. We'll have to see if he also gets his uh... cheat on. Yep. I hope he enables his cheat codes before starting. And uh, that looks pretty good. good. Yeah, yes. that was pretty good. Yeah. Another one flying away. Man, just really realized that a file has to be so jealous of these guys when he when his people need him, he has to like <laughs> jump out of the window and these guys just <laughs> can take a platform and yep. right. Uh, my people need me too. Goodbye. <laughs> I have newer technology. Uh, Water's getting quite a few dives here. You know, it's um, pretty Not ideal. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's ideal, right? If you do get dives, you want to get the longer dives. Then well, I guess the worst case is uh, yeah. Yeah, the little hover with the flap. That's that's worse. That's true. Ooh. Ultra narrowly dodges a little grab over there. And also hits this airship. <clears throat> Little fun fact, it's a small detail only, but uh, this airship, in fact, from Eagle is the airship that you see in the intro at the end that uh, drops off file. Is it really? Yes. What? That's yeah. news to me. Wait, huh. it's news to you? Oh, yeah, no, I, I didn't you been know playing that. this game longer than hey, me. Hey, <laughs> man, I just thought Vile had his own ship. I didn't know he was kicking it with Storm Eagle like that. Yeah, sure. Man. I mean, Huh. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I guess you learned something new already. Oof, yeah. Walrus. For a second. Oh, almost <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was pretty yeah. tight. Yeah. Good fight with Ego with Ultra right there. Yeah, I do believe Ultra had a few less dives than uh, Walrus did, so that's, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Catch them a little bit of time. I haven't seen any fade outs yet so far from these two. Either that or I have just blatantly missed it. Oh, that we probably surprising. missed it, knowing us. Well, I don't think we saw any, really. Ooh! So what was, uh, uh -oh. <clears throat> slingering a lot of boomerangs around here. Really, the boomerangs in this uh, game were so handy to pick up many items. You can just, mm -hmm. like, manipulate them to catch whatever you're passing by and then just, you know, bring the item to you. The entire phantom grab strategy is all boomerangs. Yeah. Honestly, when I played this game casually as a kid, you would think, boomerangs, what the heck kind of weapon is this? And then you see the speed and you're like, holy yeah, crap. Yeah, oh, so holy Got crap, he's really way important. <laughs> I remember always having a hard time trying to control it, like going upwards and downwards <laughs> as a kid. Yeah. Here we have a pretty pushover of a fight with uh, Mammon. Yeah. Not really much you can say about that. He just kind of like hops around on his elevator, tries to set you on fire. Pretty cool guy, other than that, though, just tries to set you on fire. Yeah, man, I hear he'd be making donations to like the homeless reploids and everything. He's a good guy, but yeah, yeah a jerk in his boss fight. Yeah. Actually, that's another cool thing with boomerangs. You can uh, cut his nose off. Don't tell me you didn't know that one either. Oh, I knew that one. I knew oh, that. okay. Thanks, God. I, <laughs> I, I knew that. Woo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, where's Walrus? Spark oh. Andrew? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, okay. Yeah. for some reason, I, w I was <laughs> thinking about the Mandrel stage before. I was like, why is he here again? But that was yeah. Mammoth, where he was at before. My bad. I had a. Yep. Tiny brain for it. Also, another easy fight for Ultra. Yep. Just chilling. Yeah. So, uh, you do take double hits on uh, the Mammoth fight when you fire a uh, tornado at him. Mm -hmm. you know, every tornado hits twice, and uh, yeah, it's just a little bit of timing. It's kind of easy to miss it if you are a little bit early, but it's also not really hard to do. Yeah. Maximize the damage output of the t tornado. And the time saved. Yep. No, 
And Wallace will probably try to grab this heart with a boomerang, and he does yeah, very yeah. nicely. That is actually a really hard one to do. You have to fire at a really precise time. The boomerang goes upwards uh, while axes uh, going upwards, and um, yeah, it's like at the very end of your jump. Uh, that you're still like going forward and upward, you have to fire that and then it will grab it just fine. But if you're a little bit off, it's never gonna get it. You had to pause like at the very end too, so he goes upward, right? For the Paul uh, Hart? Yeah, yeah, I do believe so. I never practiced this trap myself, mm -hmm. but I do believe uh, your uh, horizontal speed needs to stop. One second. And that was an easy fight against Christmas like Gorilla for Prime. <laughs> That's, that's what he is. Are you, are you telling me he's not Christmas light gorilla when you fight him? Uh, he's like I, showing his Christmas light. I am not arguing this at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've just not heard this before. Yeah. <laughs> but I will not argue about this at all. Here you see Ultra doing uh, the more classical strat. If you haven't practiced ball hard, it's actually a really easy hard to get, even with this way. It's yeah, you can definitely use the wall as a visual cue on when you have to shoot and be uh, horizontally yeah. going up as you shoot the boomerang. Yeah. Uh, here at Walrus, we have another Phantom Wrap coming up. This one a bit harder. Uh, yeah. Let's see if he gets it. Uh, no, nope. no booty for him. Yeah, so this heart's really hard to, to get because you need to get it during a uh, vertical screen uh, transition. Grab. Yeah. Yeah. You grab it while falling down, technically, instead of being able to line yourself up with something while you're standing still. Essentially spawning the hard tank on the first available frame that it does spawn. Yep. Good fight for Ultra as well. Christmas for Light Gorilla. Bye bye. Oh, that was a tight grab for a walrus there. For a second mm -hmm. I thought I was gonna miss the hard grab. And uh, here we're not going to see anyone die yet. I'm just going to get a little visit for the Yadokan later. The OG cheat of this game. <laughs> the, that one shot weapon. Uh, come on, infinity rolls. Come on, infinity rolls. That's, uh, I was going to say it's a good start, but it came <laughs> up pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Dillo is one of those uh, animals that you just don't know what's going to happen. To be fair, out of all the RNG bosses in this game, he is usually not referred to as really bad, but he is actually the worst one of all if he mm -hmm. really gets going. We... I think there are like two clips on Twitch where you can see him rolling for 30 seconds. That's horrible, and man. I, I'm, I, actually, it's not horrible. Like, if you're on a good run and Dillo gives you some rolls, you're like, God damn it. And if he gives you, like, a lot of rolls, you're like, dude, this is even worse. And it, it goes beyond the point where all you can do is just laugh because it, <laughs> you're just standing there like, okay, what am I supposed to do here? 30 seconds of rolls. I'll just, well, I guess I'll just sit, sit here and laugh like an idiot. Yeah. Let's see how many rolls Ultra get. Come on, rolls. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, not too much Limb Biscuit for today. <laughs> Put on a classical CD instead. Walrus uh, had a little flirt with the spike down there. Not too close, but... That was a nice missile pattern right there. Yeah. You don't always get to jump straight through. That jump that Walrus did was just to uh, reduce the lag frames because of all the explosions and everything, items popping out from. Uh, What's that uh, Gyarados monster name is? Uh, the Utaboros. Yeah, we'll just say Robotic Gyarados. Sea Snake and Metal. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just find some name if we have to. 
I wonder if. Uh... Oh, ultra. Careful with Cliff in that corner. That's actually a, a s technically small thing, but it can be really dangerous. Also, this match is the best out of one. Oh, yeah, it's probably worth to mention all of the uh, games will be best of one. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there's not a uh, series of actions. Uh, we've had quite a few tournaments from our community over time that are often best of trees, but uh, not this specific one. We see Walrus, meanwhile, uh, moving on up to a Chameleon. Eight for once. Finally mm -hmm. on a route I can appreciate. Now we <laughs> see a waterfall chameleon stage. I haven't seen that in a while. Yep. With all that uh, chameleon turret going on, you'd almost forget you can put the stage underwater if you do it after Octopus. I wonder if Ultra's gonna mash out if Chameleon does uh, the tornado grab. Chameleon, Octopus. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of <laughs> wanted to respond to that, but I was really confused because you said Chameleon. I was like, wait, what was he talking oh, about? Oh, oh, infinite? Oh, man, come on, dog. I want the drama. <laughs> Please, no, he already died on, on wait, Penguin. <laughs> Actually, wait, what am I talking about? I'm the Deathcaster, I should be happy about this. <laughs> um, are these runners about even? Um, well, Walrus well, is the world record holder, so you always have to give an match. Well, let's put it like that. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, uh, Ultra is pretty good himself, he's top 50, so. Did you just say top 15 or 50? 50, 50. Oh, okay. He's, oh, top, well, 16. Are... He's top 16 in looks, but like... Oh, oh, oh yeah, right. I forgot <laughs> yeah. the scoreboard was about that. Yeah. Uh, true, true, true. Yeah, we actually had uh, qualifiers to decide who was getting in this tournament, and uh, the top 16 of those qualifiers got in here. A few of the top people from the leaderboards did not enter here, so I think we're more looking to like what top 30 that uh, went to qualifiers here, yeah. but uh, they got a lot of top 16, so you definitely have some quality. Did runners. Ultra use all his boomerangs? Uh, or did he just do his boomerangs first on Green Biker? He probably did them first. It would okay. very much surprise me he did that first. Also, he didn't get to tell, so his run is not verified. I don't, I don't think I remember this. Oh, look, there he is. Okay, there he, is. he might be listening in and showing. Oh, no, wait, he's doing scrap hard, obviously. There we go. Easy hard grab. Yeah. And on the left, we uh, see Zero having a little meetup. And uh, no Tokyo swap for Walrus. <laughs> Tokyo swap. Yeah. Tokyo swap, and uh, we aren't seeing any bird dupes here either. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so many memes to be had, but none being played out. Taking it super serious in this race. The yeah. uh, second playthrough on uh, the penguin stage is actually a lot easier than the first. Uh, when you have charged chameleons thing, everything in this game is suddenly pretty easy. I mean, you could pretty much blind for yourself and uh, go through it, since nothing can hit you anymore. Mm -hmm. You could still jump in a pit, but you know. That's only if you want to, you know, impress a lady or impress a friend, jump in a pit. Yeah. Yep. Uh, no, I know. I think you need some new friends at that point. <laughs> I like to live life dangerous. <laughs> well, whatever suits you. Yeah. Are we getting grab? Nope. Aww. Unfortunately, no grab again. Not today. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. You can't lag behind too far uh, here either. Although you do fire chameleons thing really late when you try for the, the phantom grab here. So there is only 
Well, you have to mess up pretty hard to still get one shot by the mole boar, but it's still not impossible. Uh, you can find a bracket. I am sure there is probably a command, but I will link it for you. Oh, I see someone uh, already. Has your link there. And now everybody's favorite part, besides the beginning, the three death visits to get the Hadouken on Walrus side. Uh, you'll see other runners doing some of the visits earlier just so that they don't have to do it later. Yeah, there is no specific bonus time save to doing an early visit when you get here the first time. The only reason people might do it earlier is to split up the super boring revisits where you have to pass here so, uh, five times to get the hat out. On the fifth visit, you get the, the actual weapon. Did Ultra get an extra life for his death? Uh, he did just now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this strat? He didn't even use Chameleon. He took a bonk from the bats. I see him. Whoa. Going past what? lag monster right here. Okay, what? Ultra, what? I see you pulling out all the tricks right now. Oh, Walrus, uh, I'm not sure it was a visit. Oi! Okay, good thing you actually saw that in time. Or that yeah. could have been a nasty surprise on his next visit. Not to mention that uh, he would have to die probably game over unless he got mm -hmm. a random life from there. Somewhere. But I did not uh, specifically see if you randomly picked up one. Can be really hard to spot that. Yeah. I really think it's quite funny how you mentioned that Ultra get an extra life and I suddenly <laughs> it just see a life drop <laughs> his boomerang. He knew, man. He knew. That's uh, Ultra. What's that? I don't know. That was that? a visit. That was looking that... a little too. Low. That, that was, was look... super <laughs> close, dude. I don't think it was one. But we'll find out. Yeah. Maybe he's doing well, some task trick that we don't know. Maybe Ultra is a human task machine. Who knows? Uh, maybe. Meanwhile, uh, Wallace is starting his uh, one-man invasion on Sigma's fortress. Mm -hmm. And let's see if he gets uh, the leap. No. Nope. Nope. Leap of fate. Yeah. Much, much leap of fate. fate. No Means leap, the, no uh, fate. Yeah, sat out a little bit of extra time waiting for the platforms. Mm -hmm. That's actually not the biggest time loss, but it's still kind of annoying if you don't get it. Yeah. Having to wait a cycle instead of... Oh! Oh, Ultra. Okay, I was looking at Walrus. He did get a visit this time, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, soft lock. Come on, soft lock! Come on. Oh man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, I was oh. oh, I was hoping. Oh, I was hoping. no soft talk. <laughs> yeah. Alright, meme always see Ultra. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, actually, yeah, so he did have a visit that one time. That's really good. Yeah, we were all hoping for the champion strat. Soft locking that vial, seeing the wallpaper in the background. I mean, technically, if it happens, it's fixable uh, in that sense that you can actually uh, restart the game. And I do believe the password you get is the password that you can uh, boot up with the Hadouken, but you need mm -hmm. to have a... I think it's... Um... Holding select or L and R when you're entering yeah. the password, right? Yeah, indeed. Hey, nice one cycle by Ultra. No, it's much fate to be had there. Mm hmm. Oh. And, uh, actually, well, some of the little things that you don't always notice. You see that when they take damage there on the blue guy, they phase the wall. It's because mm -hmm. your iframes uh, reset quicker that way. It's one of the little things that you don't really pay much attention to, but it's 
So when you're speed it. running, you do. Yep. Come on. Is he going to go for the champion strat? Ultra? What's the champion strat? Soft locks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, he, he just didn't even do it. Wait. <laughs> what a renegade. That's actually dangerous when he somehow doesn't get the text scrolling or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the explosion is going off. I actually was scared for a second there. Oh, that he didn't get the... Um... Yeah, because the skip didn't start out. Right, right. And uh, we don't exactly have a button input uh, on screen, so... Mm -hmm. you that was a good fight really by... Wall race against Spider, ball Spider right there. Good pattern, easy huddle. I mean, you could say that, but when Walrus raced his game at GDQ, I think he missed a straight Spider down that. <laughs> easy is all in the mind of the gamer, dude. <laughs> Also, it is worth to mention that when we talk about nice fights here, it's more not like a nice execution of um, Hadouken with mm -hmm. uh, attack dodges or whatever. Because there isn't really much fight to the fortress, uh, except for maybe some of the end bosses like uh, Rangda and, well, not even Direct, and Sigma himself, obviously. Mm -hmm. But most of these bosses simply get executed with a quarter circle forward and two shoot. Yeah. So you you notice that uh, some players would just have their splits it's called like a doke and rush or something like that because that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping uh, Walrus did a little swag, uh, some air hado on both eyes, but I guess not. I'm not doing anyone dirty. We are just uh, we are here for entertainment, you guys. Were you not entertained? <laughs> uh, not really much of a great pattern here, oh no. Oh, side. blue eyes on top. Oh, okay. Blue eyes are pretty nice, but not when you're hanging in the middle there with a dead nose. Not the ideal pattern, but, you know. No. Better than green eyes, I guess, right? Yeah. Green eyes are gray in real life, just not in this game. <laughs> and uh, here one of the more well-known skips, probably one of the oldest ones with the Dillo skip. Yep. Easy. Camera oh. locked on the bottom, able skip. Good. Fair to mention you can still spawn Dillo if you jump up in that room. Mm -hmm. Or too early after you get out of that room. Oh, Ultra. Actually, got a little smack in the face from that big robot. Luckily, he didn't pick up an item drop and it messed up his like jump and dash input. Nice yeah. air hado. Yeah, fancy air hado for walrus. Oh, nice cheater tactics. Um, and it's worth to mention that uh, actually air hado there on chameleon has gone come a far away. It's been um. Advanced to the point where RNG doesn't really affect it too much anymore. Mm -hmm. There used to be a lot of people still getting spiked or whatever, but um, yeah, now you do it so fast that's not really a factor anymore if you do it well. Also, there was a nice hado there from uh, Walrus, but he didn't get the the four frame window for the, yeah. the jump. He got, he got touched get by out. Christmas like Rilla. Yeah. Oof, green eye. Oh. Green eye. <laughs> Uh, well, doesn't get much worse than that. More green eye. Red eye. Okay. Oof. Alright. That was uh, pretty scary on Ultra side right there. Yeah, definitely one of those bosses that you can't really do much except like hope for good eyes. 
-hmm. Actually, Sigma 2, one of the worst RNG stages, so when it's especially 90% for Hondo, it's quite yeah, okay. You got two birds and then you got Rango at the end. To take a little step back there for his Delo skip. But he makes it just fine. Nice, nice. Hey! Oh! Uh, that's gonna hit him. Ouch. It's, it's okay. He, oh, did, so he, did, it. he did it for the crowd. Oh, he, he did it. He's the, the, he's the people's champ. We don't need world record holders when you're a people champ. That's that's true. Yeah. Even though Walrus is ahead, we already know Ultra will be the real winner. And let's see. He puts on the ice Whoa. sled and he smashes that. What is the energy ball into the chameleon's face? Easy. We got Walrus approaching Jedi Sigma. Gotta beat his doggy up first. Someone call Peter. I mean. Oh. Ultra taking a second hat out there with the cr cr Christmas light gorilla. <laughs> oh, yep, right? Christmas light gorilla. Yeah, because He's he decided one. to jump over the first one. Yeah, just trying to spread the holidays. It is right. not possible to Hado Wolf Sigma. I mean, you could try, but it's not going to work. Luckily, rolling shield uh, at least works on this guy. Only if not charged. Oh, so uh, what are you? <laughs> no. That that Hadoken against the uh, octopus was a uh, suspect. And thirty-five forty for Walrus Prime. That's actually a really, really respectable time for a for a one-run race. Mm -hmm. GG to Walrus. Not that will. Advance him to the next. I mean, stage. we already declared that Ultra is the true winner for just spawning. Well, he's still probably gonna have to go and be a winner in the loser's bracket or something. Because, uh. That ain't working over here! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to, to pitch in on that, while uh, Ultra goes and beats up on D Rex, um, Ultra mm. will advance to round two of this uh, 16 player bracket, and he will. Oh, nice, though. Ooh, nice. He will face the winner of uh, Break Alert versus Poison Curls there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if these two have scheduled their match yet. Alright, Ultra moving on to Sigma 4. Still doing pretty well for himself. Oh yeah, this uh, what this should be sub thirty seven, right? If he does not mess up. Uh, I mean, sub thirty seven is just passing by, but yeah, he, sure. well, you know, I'm off by one number, so sub thirty eight, you know. Oh okay, yeah, I, know. I can respect <laughs> that. So now here goes Holter with the Bud Dukin. Nice. The doggo Dukin. I call it the Bud Dukin because he like flips over and explodes on his butt. <laughs> that makes it's sense. It's one of those little details, you know. Mm hmm. There. Clean Haddo. Buffered by Ultra. Very nice. Let's see if he goes for the Hadouken on the Sigma face. Yeah. Man, he's already a hero. Don't push yeah. it. Don't push it. <laughs> Didn't be he's trying to become a like... villain now. <laughs> Oh. You can only be so much of a hero. Mm -hmm. Oops, takes a little hit there. You can see how much damage that lightning does, even when you have mm -hmm. the body armor with minus 50%. Truly terrifying this boss. Still a good time. Still yeah. a perfect good time. Especially for a race, that's a good time. Yeah, 3809.33 for Ultra. It's still good. Uh, that does unfortunately mean that he will uh, be leaving this bracket. 
And we will take a look if we can get any runners in here for a miniature interview. Nothing miniature about this. Big day. Uh, oh, man. I, I want to leave this chat already. I want to leave this chat already. <laughs> Big happening? day. Big day. Yo, GG Ultra. I saw What's a little going, swag. <laughs> well, I, uh, yeah. I saw you. I was sorry you were already winning, so I just messed around with three. So. Yeah. All we right. already declared that Ultra is the people's champ for doing that technique, you know? Next, so next, yeah, dude. you I may move stuff, in a way aside, uh, but he definitely I won was actually, hearts. I was actually pretty proud of that run, except for, of course, Penguin Hill, or Death, because I don't know what the heck happened. I misread everything. Took a Death yeah. where? Penguin. Penguin. Ugh. I would have yeah. PB'd. I, if it wasn't for you that, still he was weren't, you weren't even that far behind me. I didn't. Yeah, no, I it wasn't. Was the whole way. It was still yeah. a pretty good run. Yeah, wow. I was I was really close. I was just like, oh wow. All right. Yeah, I thought you were doing really well throughout your entire run, and I actually thought I wonder where he would be at if he didn't take the penguin. That, but it wasn't even like a super sketchy fight mm -mm. because you were taking so much damage, and then just as I thought, I need to be careful. I saw you like jump on top of penguin. I said, like, oh god, dang it. <laughs> I lost. Uh, I lost forty seconds to that. I would have PB'd by. Uh, I would have PB'd by like. Uh, 30 seconds if it wasn't for that, if, like everything else. Wow, dude, killer run. And then, <laughs> and then if you would have got the skip too, you would have yeah. got more time. Yeah. So, so yeah. it was just, I was just really upset. I was just like, wow, all right. <laughs> uh, I got yeah. everything. I got, I got, I got, you know, carpet. I got, well, I didn't get, uh, I didn't get booty crap. Yeah, uh, me either. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's some, some fancy strats there with booty grab too on your uh, second pass through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was some new strats that we haven't it. seen before. <laughs> I where dropped you took my bunk from the bat instead yeah. of using chameleon sting. I was like, oh man, this guy is on some next level stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what you had before this race, but we want him to. In my mammoth stage, I about had a friggin' heart attack. I was oh. watching that. Oh. Dude, I was on like, my climb, was... I, thought, I thought I was falling oh, for sure. Yeah. I, I thought you dropped. I'm like, wow, that would change everything from here on out if that happened. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah that would have cost you a minute. Game changer for sure. Mm -hmm. no, but, true, uh, true, true. Luckily, I, I didn't. So. Yeah, it was pretty good. close. Good job, man. Seriously. Yeah, I, I was really like, you know, aiming really close to my PB. I can't really complain except for Penguin, you know, death. Yeah, but, yeah. So. Well, it was fun. Did you have anything that otherwise your run with Walrus would have changed, I guess? Uh, it all went pretty standard. Uh, I can't think of any real hiccups other than the Mammoth Climb made my heart skip a beat, but um, the Crummy ranged a pattern. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you had both suffered from that. Oh, yeah. yeah, I had two green, I had two green eyes. Yeah. I had, one, I had just one and then closed right away. Yeah. Two green eyes, and then they. That's they always a scary out. fight in Hundo because you got no lives, and there's spikes at the bottom, right? And I got to take the nose out right away, and now I got to fight the eyes with the walls closed and nowhere to stand. So I was, you know, I, I've died there in marathon runs before, and that's a game over. That's a huge time loss. So yeah, that would have evened uh, you out for sure. If not, yeah. put put the uh, ultra in the lead. Yeah, so I tried to just play it a little safe. After I was, I, got I, was crummy pattern. I was looking. I was like, wow, if I didn't die to penguin, how close would the <laughs> Close. True, true, true. Alright, well, it was well, fun. Thanks for the race, was, Ultra. Appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I'm glad I was able to make a top 16, so. Yeah. So, I'll see, uh, I guess I'll see the winner of Berg and Poison. Yeah, yeah that will yeah. probably be fairly soon. I do believe that there was a schedule link posted somewhere before in uh, the chat. I do believe it was just an exclamation mark schedule, hopefully. Yeah, yeah there we have the schedule. So uh, I do not know by heart when the next MMX run is. I'm going to take a quick look. But I see on uh, Friday we will have... Friday. Yeah, that will be Drifter 18 versus Clipper 1. All these numbers people, even though there's only one of them. Um, <laughs> that should be an interesting race, so... You guys are definitely welcome back for some other action on this channel, mm -hmm. which is looking. God, I have too many tabs open. Uh, which is looking like um, Super Mario Odyssey, I believe, tomorrow. 
And then also, uh, don't forget to follow the runners too. These guys did a really good job. You guys get a chance, you know, go into their channel, hate them, love them, get mad at them, do what you gotta do, give them a shout out, you know. Oh man. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm gonna roll out. Peace. We'll yeah. See you next time. Roll out. Chat room. Peace out. Play on, players. All right. That'll be it for me too. I hope to see everyone here again for more MMX and uh, other game action. And uh, good night to everyone. See ya.